Hello and welcome to another episode of Bale's Chemistry. Today we're going to start the thermodynamics topic and we're going to start off with the basic definitions that we need to know to be able to access all the content in this topic. This topic falls on paper one and it's AQA specification 1.8. So we've already done a lot of work on thermodynamics in the AS topic on energetics, and we've already covered three key definitions. That's for formation, combustion, and bond dissociation. If you haven't done those yet, there's a link at the top of the screen now to help you go back and look at our energetics playlist. Today, we're going to look at a few more. We're going to look at ionization, electron affinity, atomization, lattice formation and dissociation, hydration, and solution. We're going to start off by defining the enthalpy of ionization. This is the same as ionization energies, which we looked at in the first year, where we looked at the trends across the periods and down the groups. Delta H IE1 then is the first ionization energy and can be defined as the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous one plus ions is formed from one mole of gaseous atoms. This can be represented here with a magnesium atom forming a magnesium one plus ion and then one electron. We also have the second ionization energy, which is shown here as delta H IE2. It's the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous two plus ions is formed from one mole of gaseous one plus ions and can be shown as an equation here where Mg1 plus ion makes an Mg2 plus ion and one electron. So when we talk about electron affinity, we're talking about adding electrons to atoms or ions. The first electron affinity, delta H Ea1, is defined as the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous one minus ions is made from one mole of atoms. This can be shown by the equation oxygen plus an electron forms an oxygen ion. The second electron affinity then can be defined as the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous two minus ions is made from one mole of gaseous one minus ions. Again, using the example of oxygen ion, adding an electron, we can now make an oxygen two minus ion. So we're talking about atomization. Now, atomization is where we take an element or a compound and we turn it into gaseous atoms. So we'll start off with delta H A T and define it as the enthalpy change when one mole of gaseous atoms is formed from an element in its standard state. And here we've got half Cl2 becoming a Cl gas. That's one atom in its gaseous state on its own. We can also define it for a compound, or this is less common, and we use the same abbreviation there, delta H A T, and it's the enthalpy change when one molar compound in its standard state is converted to gaseous atoms, and the example we're going to look at is sodium chloride forming a sodium atoms and chlorine atoms. Lattice enthalpy is somewhat of a focus of this topic, and it's where we take the gaseous ions and we combine them together to make a solid ionic lattice. So we can define that as delta H LEF, which is lattice enthalpy of formation, and we can talk about that as being the one mole of solid ionic compound is formed from its gaseous ions. So we can show that here by combining Na plus gas and Cl minus gas to form NaCl solid. We also have the opposite process of that, which is a lattice enthalpy of dissociation. And that's where we take apart that one mole of solid ionic uh, compound and we fully dissociate it into gaseous ions. And that can be shown with the reverse process of what we've just seen, where we've got NaCl solid now forming Na plus gas and Cl minus gas. So we have two final definitions which come up later on in the topic, and that's hydration and solution. They sound very similar, but there's a subtle difference between the two of them. So delta H for hydration is the enthalpy change when one mole of aqueous ions is formed from gaseous ions. And uh, we can show that here with a sodium ion becoming a sodium aqueous ion. Now, the enthalpy change of solution is subtly different, and that's the enthalpy change when one mole of an ionic substance dissolves in enough solvent to form an infinitely dilute solution. And that, again, can be shown here with an NaCl forming Na plus ions and Cl minus ions. The equation looks the same, but it's that infinitely dilute solution that's important. Thanks for watching this video on getting us set up for the thermodynamics topic. If you've enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up below. I look forward to seeing you in the next videos. Have a great day.